Hi, I'm Ryan from Interstrike Products, and today I'm going to talk to you about the SPD knee wraps. So the SPD knee wraps come in two different styles. They have the, the red training wraps and then the all black competition wraps. The training wraps are named as such not because you can only use them in training, but because they are easier to use. Uh, they're a little stretchier, they are just a little softer, so if you're self-wrapping, uh, they're definitely the ones I'd probably recommend. If you're new to knee wraps, definitely much easier to get into. They are quite a big improvement over the old style, um, so I find them much more supportive than the old style. Then on the other side, the competition wraps are significantly stiffer, so they're gonna take a lot more energy to, to wrap. Uh, to wrap yourself, while it's certainly possible for some people, uh, it's gonna be you know quite challenging and it's gonna take you know, a bit of energy. So uh, I use them to wrap other people and it's not a problem, but they're definitely a lot more work to wrap. On the plus side of it being more work to wrap is that they're also gonna give you a little more bounce out of the hole, a little more um, spring. So they're definitely, definitely a little heavier duty um, and compared to the old version, they are significantly easier to handle. So the older versions were quite thick and very hard to wrap. Uh, someone else or yourself just because they're so hard to get your hands around. These are much easier to get your hands around but still provide a ton of support and uh, a very good option for a competition wrap. So these other wraps both come in two meter and two and a half meter options. The two meter options are IPF approved uh, for competitions, international powerlifting competitions uh, or Canadian Powerlifting Union and, and your local affiliates. So two meters if you want to compete in the IPF or below. Uh, and two and a half for you know, other federations or strongman competitions. We'll also get into a bit of a demonstration here about how to wrap knees. Um, I'm just gonna show you one way that I prefer to do it. Uh, I like to do a bit of a crisscross as I wrap. Uh, so I always, personally I always wrap both out. So I'm always pinning the knee cap to the outside of my knee. Um, some people wrap one out, one in. Um, and I always pre-tension my wraps before I wrap them. So you'll see I use a wrap roller to to pull some tension out of the knee wraps before I'm handling them uh, and wrap my knees, which I find helps to get a much tighter wrap. If you don't have them, you can certainly wrap with a loose wrap or just a um, you know, non-tension rolled wrap will work as well. It just takes a little more effort, I find, to, uh, to do that. So I always pre-tension them and then I always start just below my kneecap and I kind of crisscross a little bit, about halfway uh, over the previous wrap and I come up in kind of an X pattern and then as I get to the top, um, on smaller legs, I can come back down for a couple revolutions before tucking it in. If you're having troubles with tucking in, you can also use what we call it a polar thruer, uh, which is, can just be a, uh, a lifting strap that you can put through the last uh, knee wrap uh, coming around, and then you can catch the, the tail end of it and pull it through. Uh, you can see here, um, it's a good tool to get that last wrap pulled under without too much struggle. So yeah, that's basically one way of wrapping knees. There are a number of different ways. Um, you can either do a straight up and down wrap or crisscross like I do, or straight up with an X. There's basically a limited, unlimited number of ways of doing it and uh, different ways of, of tying it together at the end. Some people do like a bow tie, um, which I've never really used. I just find it uses a lot of knee wrap to kind of do that. So I like just simple tuck and uh, secures it in place really well. So, not a long video today, but hopefully a little bit of uh, information about the new apps and how to use them. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, uh, or subscribe to our channel, like this video, all that jazz, and we'll see you in the next video.